Hey everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today I have a little DIY project, and I have been using pothos in my aquarium, like so many of us hobbyists out there, we know that it's very good filtration for your tank. But they also grow very quickly, and if you're not careful, they can clog up your filter if you have them in your filter, unless you have them set up with aquaponics, but you can see the root system in this. So I'm creating a little DIY, very affordable basket so that they can all look the same, they can all be uniformed, I can contain the roots and still get the amazing filtration. Let's check it out. This one's a really quick and easy project. And these are everything that you need. I was gonna say these are all the ingredients to make it this mesh plastic, and I have links, affiliate links below, so I want to be forewarned. Zip ties, any size suction cup. This one has a metal thing on it, so I'm taking it off. We don't need the metal thing. And scissors. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut one of the little squares in here where I want my suction cup. I'll just go here. I want it close to the seam so I don't see it. And then I'm going to poke my suction cup through that hole. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put it on the white. You put it right through. That's perfect. Then what I'm going to do is fold it this way and put in zip ties. I'm going to, you only need two zip ties. You really don't need that many zip ties because this is all going to be behind. This is going to be against the glass. You're not going to see this part anyway. And since I like keeping the zip part, <laughs> is that the word, the zip part? Since I like keeping the zip part on the inside, I always keep that knobber on the inside. Te technical term, knobber. And it's not an exact science. Put it through. And then you can't really have a DIY project without a zip tie, right? Right, one fish, two fish? Oh, wait, I gotta do it. One fish, two fish, ROC. If you don't know who she is, check her out. She's my favorite DIY lady. So I tied that, and this is only holding in roots, so it doesn't need to be tied here, tied here, tied here. You just need, like, I, I'm recommending two, but you'll probably get away with one, three, two. I'm only doing two. One on the top, one a little bit below this uh, suction. Sure, I gotta make sure it's even, you know. And put it through. And this is going to contain my pothos. These pothos grow so quickly, it's not even funny. Like, and and the roots are so beneficial to your aquarium and to the filtration. But mine have gotten so unsightly because of the root system. So I'm going to, let's go over to my tank, and it's that easy. You can cut off the edges if you like. I cut off the edges because I use the part that I cut off. So there you go. Let's go take it over to the tank and see how it's working. So I gotta say my Oscar's probably not really happy with the spotlight. But as you can see, this is just one stem of the pothos and how big this rooting system goes. Now I have pothos everywhere. I use pothos as part of my filtration and because I just absolutely love plants as well. So what I'm doing is I'm going to feed this root system down in here. Now you want to make sure that when you're putting this root system down in here, there are no leaves because although the leaves will look to be thriving underwater for a little bit, trust me, they will not thrive for very long and then they will turn into more of a pollutant than an, uh, than beneficial. Oh, it looks so pretty. Let's see if I can get it in there without disturbing her or him. I'll put this in the back corner. So this is the pothos now. The root system is still doing its thing. Now let's see if we can see that. So now... Let 
You can see it's, it's very incognito. It's in the back. It's going to contain the roots a lot better than that what was being contained. And yes, that sponge filter does not have a... Oh, look at He's all pissed off at me. He's pouting. Let's give a little cred to Oscar. Come on, Oscar. Don't show him off what kind of grouch you really are. He's just pouting. He doesn't like my hands in his tank. But anyway, I think he's adorable anyway. But now it's behind that. It's very incognito. I can start getting rid of some more of these roots. You see all those roots back there? See all these roots? You see all these roots? All those roots are going to go away the more I make. I'm going to make another one to show you. And this is what I'm talking about. If a leaf gets in the water, that's not going to help your filtration. It's going to hurt your water quality, so you're not going to want to do that. Now, I'm not worried about having the roots stick out or fall out as they grow out. I'm just, right now, they make it super easy to trim because you can always just trim this, what sticks out of the black thing. There we go. So now there's no leaves in the water. And that's what I'm checking for to make sure that there's no leaves in the water. And then it's just got a real nice jungle-like look to it. No, the, not the algae. The jungle-like look to it. This black net, I wanted to show you first before I push it back an inch. And this tank, I'll put this fake one right in front of it a little bit. It still looks amazing. It looks amazing to me. Like, I just absolutely love it. So now I get that, that terrarium jungle look, which I absolutely love, without tons and tons of roots. Over here, you, I can't even see it. I just love that look. And I love the look of the pothos without all, without all the roots. So look at that, we got the pothos, still hanging up there, looking gorgeous as ever. I don't see a whole lot of unsightly roots, I see a beautiful Oscar, Oop, and my red devil. And then in this corner back here is another pothos, but yeah, that's my uh, DIY, super simple, effective, efficient. So if you're tired of the unsightly roots everywhere or the roots are outgrowing your filter system, I think this is working out really good for me. I'm going to make about five more. I'm going to make one for each corner of my 125 gallon. I'm going to make some for my turtle tanks because I love the filtration effect. I love the benefits from these roots. I just don't like the unsightliness of them. So this it was easy, under a dollar. That's my kind of project. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY making your own plant pot, not pot plant. <laughs> making your own plant pot for your fish tanks. Thanks everybody. Thanks for checking out my DIY. See you next time.